hello and welcome to Big Boar Knife and Gear. Well, today we're going to do an unboxing, uh, unboxing of a knife that I've been trying to get a hold of for a very long time. Uh, finally was able to get this after almost a year, nine months, almost a year, somewhere in there of kind of saving up and scrimping. What's in here is a custom knife, uh, custom knife from Sean O'Connell Knives out of uh, Southern California. I'll leave a link to his, dis or, uh, in the description below, a link to his YouTube. Uh, super cool stuff. This model is going to be the LBXL. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of still shaking. It just showed up in the mail. And uh, well, let's, let's cut this sucker open and uh, carefully. And get into get into this box. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, so I'm just gonna start reading off a little bit about what's in here. This is a full titanium build uh, with Nitro V steel. It's got a quarter inch thick blade stock on there. The, uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh. more bubble wrap. This is so awesome. This is a uh, pretty big knife with nine and a quarter inch overall length and a cutting edge on the blade of about four inches. He makes two versions of this particular one, the LB and the LBXL. The LBXL is the one I got, and it is just extra large, basically, bigger than the LB. When I asked him what the LB stood for, he didn't really, he said it didn't really stand for anything. Uh, he named it kind of after his favorite hockey player from back in the day, uh, Lyndon Byers, LB, played for the Bruins and the Sharks. He was an enforcer, big bruiser. Great little case. Oh, good lord, I can already. <laughs> I just caught a glimpse of the backspacer. Let's get this sucker open. The backspacer on this, by the way, is going to be a beautifully sculpted copper, patinaed copper. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm shaking. <laughs> All right, let's get uh, his info here so you guys can see it too. He's a transplant. He is from the Boston area. He's uh, in Southern California now. Give me a second, folks. I'm just reading the note on here. <laughs> All right. Here's the little certificate of authenticity that comes with it. This, again, is the LBXL, Nitro V, uh, titanium handle, titanium clip, the hardware pivot uh, hardware that hardware screws everything on here is also titanium. Yeah, this is going to be fantastic. Let's look at this sucker. Let me get this out of the way. Sorry if I'm rambling on. I'm, <laughs> I'm just in awe. I've been wanting one of his knives for so long now. Oh, good Lord. Look at that beautiful acid-washed and tumbled finish. <sighs> Look at that gorgeous backspacer. Oh, my God. <laughs> the uh, finish on the scales is fantastic. He garnet blast, he garnet blasted the scales. It gives it that, uh, kind of smooth, grippy feel to it. It's fantastic. Flame anode, the, uh, pocket clip, and it looks like the, um, hardware screws as well. Beautifully anode pivot collar. Oh. 
Look at that chunky monster. All right. Oh, let's flip this sucker open. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was, oh, that was fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Let's do that again. <laughs> so smooth. Uh, holy mackerel. Wow, I am so stoked. This is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that chunk of steel. Holy mackerel. Wow, what a big beastie bruiser. Jimping up here is uh, large and in charge. It feels great. Wow, this is super comfortable in hand. You can choke up on it really nice too. Look at that chunky blade on that sucker. I grabbed a couple things for size comparison here. Uh, I grabbed the three biggest knives that I currently have. Here it is up against the Medford Praetorian. There it is up against the uh, ADV Classic Butcher. And just for giggles, there it is up against the AD-10. This thing is just a beast. Wow. This thing is... Uh, Razor sharp, beautifully ground, beautifully hollow ground. This thing is super thin behind the edge. Oh, good lord. Look at the finish on that blade. Acid washed and then tumbled, stone washed, tumbled. Wow. Fantastic swedge. This is not sharp uh, like a knife edge, but it's very thin, beautifully done. Holy mackerel. Just phenomenal. The action on this <laughs> is just superb. Centering is uh, favors the clip just barely, but I think we can... Uh, Get that broke in, and that shouldn't be an issue. No blade play whatsoever. No lock rock. Locking up at about 25 to 30%. Fantastic. Looks like it's running on... I didn't grab a flashlight, and I didn't ask, but it looks like it's on captured bearings in there. Let's see if I can thumb flip the up. <laughs> this big old chunk of spidey flicks like no business. Holy mackerel. Just outstanding. Just outstanding. Ben, aka Blade Banker, if you're watching this, buddy, I know you've got one coming too. I think you are going to be... Uh, Thoroughly impressed as I am. Holy mackerel. Look at that. Ergos again, fantastic so far. Just first impressions. It feels excellent in my hand. Really, really digging that copper backspacer. Uh, I didn't grab my scale to see how much this weighs, but she's a hefty chunk and I love it. Anyhow, <laughs> I've rambled on for almost 10, mi <laughs> 10 minutes. Holy crap. This thing is insanely beautiful. Uh, that's all I have for today, folks. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment because I love the feedback. And, uh, wow. Until next time, take care.